So not too much work today, but we are going to tackle this. This has been bugging me for a bit. <laughs> so I'll just, we did we did one run, trash run, and got rid of a whole bunch of cardboard and stuff, and then we just got more. All the stuff we get for the house. There's always packaging, more packaging. So, so garbage run today, followed by, by a uh, small supply run or something in the town, but yeah, garbage run, definitely. We gotta get rid of this pile. And it's a little windy. And I forgot to mention, it's Monday, June 4th, and the sun's out. We haven't had, like, a decent sunny day since we got back from our trip. Not one. This is the best one so far, which is actually pretty cool. It's our, uh, our solar setup. Earlier today, I saw that spike at like 52 amps. That's the highest we've seen it go so far. And that's still with uh, some, just a little bit of cloud cover blocking. So, it's going all right. Just need more of it. Come on. <laughs> so this is what we're taking. And we still have all of this. Sheesh. I'll be glad when I get to the phase of just cleaning the entire property. Just pick it up. Probably didn't hear any of that because it's really windy. See, people don't tell you this. That's what real lava looks like. We're going to check out the Hilo Burger Joint. This looks like the kind of place that would have really, really, really good food or like really expensive touristy bad food. So we'll see. It's a little beyond where the tourists usually show up. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, hopeful. They're usually way down there. Yeah. The Google has it ranked really well for the yeah. so We'll try them out. out. Hilo Burger Joint. Epic parking job. That's a good parker. I'm the man. <laughs> yeah, lucky. Really. Okay. <laughs> So far, so good. The atmosphere is pretty good. The place has got some good character. It's got a big old pig's head over the bar, <laughs> which is cool. I like that. But yeah, it's nice in here. Huge menu. Yeah. Huge selection. Big burger. All burgers. All of these burgers. <laughs> so, hopefully that bodes well for us. Nice touch. They provide yeah. a Samsung. Galaxy Note. <laughs> so you can play games at your table. <laughs> That's cool. That's pretty cool. For some reason, it doesn't take this word. It's a valid word. Come on. <laughs> this game is rigged. We're back home. Maxing and relaxing. Hilo Burger Joint. That's the name of the place, right? I think so. Yeah. That was okay. Um, we definitely love the atmosphere. It's like, like a little pub house, a little bar, which we actually hadn't been to a place like that in a while, surprisingly enough. Um, but it was good. Yeah, we liked it. Uh, definitely great atmosphere. The burger meat was awesome but they go a little light on the sauce. And Ren was thinking they do that to uh, promote the meat. <laughs> yeah, but I had a Southern barbecue burger and I really didn't taste any barbecue sauce. I could see it, it was, it was soaked into the bun, but that was it, there wasn't any real drizzle or anything, so, but whatever that barbecue sauce was, was really mild, because I didn't, I basically had a bacon cheeseburger, so. A really good bacon cheeseburger, but it wasn't quite southern. There was an onion ring in it, so maybe. Uh, then Ren had the blue cheeseburger, and she said that was really good. But it was also the same kind of thing. Could have It could have had a little more blue cheese taste. It was delicious. Yeah. All you got something to say about it. it. He's always got an opinion. <laughs> um, it was delicious, but it could have had a little bit more blue cheese. Yeah. But again, the, the meat is locally ranched and, I mean, one of the things that was nice there is that they are very focused on locally sourced 
everything as far as vegetables and meat and even the buns and so I totally am down for that but I think they were really trying to focus on the beef patty and so they were a little lighter on the stronger flavors like blue cheese is a strong flavor barbecue sauce is a strong flavor and they don't want to overpower the patty but we like our flavors <laughs> I could have used a little more blue cheese and he could have used a little more barbecue so you know <laughs> so you know but it was, I, I really like the atmosphere. Yeah. It's super cozy and comfortable to a place to be. Yeah, we'll definitely go back. Uh, we haven't seen that kind of place. We never found a place like that in Vegas. Oh, really? Flat out, we never yeah. did. And so it's kind of like McMinimins was, when Mc, nobody knew who McMinimins were yet. And I liked it for that. The old bar and the, and the cozy furnishings and, um, it would have been awesome if they had tots. <laughs> oh, they totally should have Cajun tots. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Cajun tots. I bet I could do this on the barbecue. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Totally. we got to get a bag of tots. All right. Tots on the list. Anyway. <laughs> There's me. Yeah. What? Off the hip squirrel. In the direction. <laughs> but, yeah, it was fun. So, yep. we're back home. We got our chainsaw. Yep. Um, we bought another yellow box. Bought another yellow box. You'll, uh, you'll see it tomorrow. Yeah, it was kind of tricky. So whatever reason, so we went the day before as we wanted to get a chainsaw. We didn't have any DeWalt chainsaws. And we went to HPM, but we missed them because they literally, they closed seven minutes prior to our arrival. Yeah. And ultimately, they didn't carry the DeWalt chainsaw anyway. So today, Levin looked at his phone and saw that Home Depot had three in stock of the DeWalt chainsaw, which runs on the same battery packs that we currently have for all of our other power tools. And we're like, well, let's just go back and look. And so we did, and sure enough, they're like way up on a high shelf, nowhere near where you could get to it as a customer, but not even on display, or like there's nowhere on the shelf that would tell you how much it costs. Yeah. Nothing. But they did have a couple, so we got one. Yeah. So either, either they, uh, Either they got their inventory and hadn't gotten around to doing to changing the display to include them, or they changed the display to remove them and those were left over. Whatever the case, but, I'm happy to have one. Yeah, we got them. So tomorrow I can one. go out and do some work and. Always giving us the back. Always. <laughs> Not get paying enough attention. So yeah, today was today was more of a relaxing it's, day. Yeah, we both had domestic we, uh, things to do inside the house yeah. that took up the bulk of the day. So yeah. we didn't even get out of here until like 2.30. Yeah, at that point I really didn't feel like going up and down on the ladder again Yeah. For, for the day. So I'll get back to it tomorrow. We still have a dog. Yep, still got a dog. We still have Pearl. Uh, um, we relocated her away from the front of the house over by the tree line. Yeah. Uh, where the, sort of by the duck yard. Um, because they just couldn't handle, didn't like her being under the house. She wasn't spending as much time in the little dog house as I'd hoped. But she had nowhere comfortable to be outside because of the big lumpy black rocks. Yeah. And so she's laying on them like it's okay and it's just felt bad for her. Yeah. Anyway, so I tied her to a tree so now she has grassy soil stuff to lay on and she's much happier. Yeah. Um, and she is actually spending some time in her house. Which is cute. And she poops over there too. And now she poops over right there, the as far away from the house. So that's <laughs> Which all is good. good. That's good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he's still a dog. Yeah. Yeah. She seems very happy, so yeah. I'm glad for that. We're fattening her up a little bit. Yeah. Well, we have her. You know. I'm not entirely sure how we long we're gonna have her. But, mm. We don't know. We haven't heard from <laughs> Hawaiian, so. Never. But we have heard from Hawaiian. He was supposed to show up earlier today. Oh right. And he called last didn't. night. And then I'm not. He's yeah, I'm not sure if I was the intended. Yeah, because when we were going to Home Depot, we saw him in a neighbor's yard. Yeah. Um, who he knows. Yeah. But I think maybe he meant to be calling that. So yeah, maybe yeah, maybe he. He doesn't normally come here on a Monday anyway. No. So. <laughs> we whatever. don't know. There's no knowing. Yeah. But we do still have a dog, and we haven't actually seen Hawaiian on purpose talking to us. No. Um, so who knows how long we'll keep her, but yeah. we will care for her while we have her. Yep. Whenever he wants her back, he'll, he'll come and get her. So. 
<laughs> anyway, that was, yeah, so it was basically a day off, so, was, which was nice. It, I liked it, actually. Um, and we got a chainsaw, so she will be testing the heck out of a DeWalt cordless Not really. Chainsaw. I have four skinny little trees to cut down. Of course, well, I have to this thing up. better be able to do it then. <laughs> well, we do have a lot of down trees still all yeah. in patches along the driveway. As yeah, there's a lot of house. stuff we can cut up. Um, and then we do have a giant wall of debris that's bigger than our house yeah. that ultimately I decided I would like to terrace and turn into... Because it's just impossible to think that we could take down that giant pile of debris right. without like paying someone else to do it, which I don't want to do. So my intention is to terrace it and turn it into terrace garden beds or flowers. Yeah. Whatever the case, make it attractive yeah. and uh, or a waterfall. Oh, <laughs> getting all fancy. <laughs> there are trees all through that, and you'd have to cut them. Yeah. Um, and then also we do want to get past that on the down on the narrow part mm -hmm. to use the other acre that we own. <laughs> <laughs> uh, eventually, and that is all blocked by tree down trees as well. So the chainsaw does have a lot of potential future use. So yeah, so she'll show you show you some of that tomorrow, and okay. I will be just working on more of the soffit beds up there. So tomorrow's video will be a little exciting because there'll be a chainsaw involved. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> and he's gonna be burning holes. And I'm burning holes. Yeah. <laughs> But that's it. That's that's okay. it for today. So, relaxing day. Relaxing day. Yep. So, hi to everyone. Hi. We love you. We love you. And good night to everyone. Yeah. We love you. Okay. <laughs>